This isn't the first time you've uh, been to Estonia. What, what brings you back here? Why do you want to come back here? You see, you will be, you will be amazed to know that uh, Estonia is like part of my, something related to my past. If I, I don't know how to explain it for you to understand. Is, you know, I was here maybe the first time 10 years back when there was a Sundance. They organized this big Sundance in the summer. And I experienced something which I never experienced in my whole life. I felt a sense of unity between people. You know, we had 25,000 people. I was playing in that area. I don't remember where it was on the beach. And it was, then the sun was coming up. It was like early morning. And I just wondered what these people, and it was the first time I experienced this unity. And whenever I was coming out, and everybody, for example, they were interviewing me, they said, where was the best place for you, let's, as a DJ, to play? And they were expecting, I say, New York or London or Prague. And I said, Tallinn. They said, Tallinn, where is Tallinn? I said, it's Baltic. Baltic, where is Baltic? You know, for people didn't really know. And I knew I would come back. That was the first reason. The level of the energy attracted me a lot. Also, having said that, my very good friends, they are the people who really... They were the first people who did all these house parties and everything, and I had a good relationship. I met them in Miami, and they also played a very important role. I was coming to always be with them because they knew what I want to do. I knew what they think, and you know, it was a very good collaboration. Ten years I'm coming to Estonia. Not every year, unfortunately, but my history back. Do you find that uh, people here uh, relate differently to the music you make, or? Do people just listen to it and experience it the same way around the world? I think for me, what was very attractive was that people look into your eyes. No ego. They were coming to the DJ booth and the guy said, what is this, you know? The, the veil, I call it, was not there. You could feel that people were coming openly and they were very happy to see the level of energy you were giving them, they will give it back to you. And for me as a DJ, who I believe that, let's say, my music is part of my mission, my spiritual mission, one of the work I do, it was very important because this is how I communicate with people, heart to heart, not mind to mind or just into my or, you know, computer. It was a communication. And for the communication, you need to, at least you need people to communicate with you. Because, you know, lately, unfortunately, the music scene people are too much into themselves. Everybody individually is in their own shell. It's not the unity, it's not the, you know, the togetherness that that was the main reason of clubbing. Togetherness. This I felt in Estonia long back. Don't you find that uh, house music, it's a bit, it's perhaps difficult to relate to people because People come to the clubs to dance. They don't come to listen to the music as such. They just do the dancing bit more often than, than listen to the music. Yeah, but I, I give you an example. You know the Sufis, I don't know if you know. You, you, you know this program, the, the, they call it the whirling dervishes. The people who turn. It's a, it's a spiritual kind of path, Sufism, they call it Sufism. What they do, there is a music. But with that music, they still listen and they still dance and they still go to trance. But the difference is with no chemical and alcohol. <laughs> you know, that's the whole thing. Why? Because they put the music here and they still dance and they still enjoy themselves and they still listen to music. You so saw the whole idea of clubbing is very important to understand why you go to clubs. Or you go to clubs because you just want to go out somewhere and you, then you don't care what music play because or you drink and whatever plays you enjoy. Or you go out because you like the atmosphere of the place and the atmosphere is made by music. You can have the most beautiful place, but if the music is bad, all down. Or you want to be with a bunch of people. The whole idea for house music, when it was created back 89 or 85, was people are fed up of this disco and they went to the house and they tried at least there be united and the house music was playing and the beat, four by four beat, and everybody was dancing hand to hand, unity, nobody cared what is your work, who are you, what's your race, what's your culture, where are you coming from? It was like one family. That was the whole idea of house music. Now, 
What is happening to it now, that's a totally different story. What, do, what are you trying to tell people with your performance on stage, your songs? You know what I would try to say to people is, listen guys, first, open your heart, because everything is here. Nothing is here. Everything of a human being is in the heart. That's why sometimes if they say, for example, people who do meditation, why? Because they try to get inside and see themselves. They connect with their higher self. And then they can sit. You know, everybody, a lot of people, the highest prophets in the world meditated it. Even there were people that people recognized them, that they were connected to the source of the divinity. But they still meditated. Why? Because only through the meditation, the mind is off and the heart is open. Now, in the music, just to answer to your question is, if you come to the club and you have no resistance and you say to the DJ, take me to your journey, take me to your journey. And then you as a DJ, you take them to the journey, up, down, left, right, tough, soft. And you try to take them to the journey when you start and when you finish, that person say, wow, that was the full journey and I feel something in my heart. Then as a DJ, you did the work because you know now better than anyone that lately the technology is so high, any young kid can have access of music. It's not like 20 years back, we were receiving white label vinyl for one year nobody had. Now you go to all these websites, then what is the problem? Then you have one small computer, you put the software, you don't even need to mix. And what is the difference between DJs and DJs? So you're, when you write your music, you write about things you've uh, realized or experienced uh, during meditation. One of them is this. And I try to also express it to other people with no words. Because sometimes when you talk, you become a preacher. People are fed up of preacher. Oh my God, this guy talked too much, you know. Brothers and sisters, this and that. But you say to people, okay, open your heart and see what you feel. And then you, you do the work. If you have no resistance in power, you feel it. It happened to me many times. People come to the DJ booth and they say, listen, we don't know what you did, but something happened to us. That's enough. We don't have to try to understand always, analyze things. Because there is a lot of things which is connected elsewhere. And logic cannot explain. But we as a human being are scared because you always want to have an explanation for everything. But there are a lot of things you should not explain because here has limited experience. Here has unlimited experience. Because this is the only place which is connected to the source. But maybe now you can ask a question, what is the source? Where is the source? Again, all depends. Let's not get cut off of the religion discussion. People said, God, somebody said, who cares? Source of existence. The place that everything comes from, from it. How do you discover meditation for yourself? I think meditation discovered me. How, how <laughs> did that become then? <laughs> you see, this is very important. Sometimes people, I want to give you an example very important. I learned from my teacher, because I have a spiritual teacher who I follow, because it's a really heart-to-heart -heart relationship I have with him. Sometimes people think, for example, you are seeking something, but it's not true. The nature is as such that it's a time for you and nature come after you in a very mysterious way. For me, the way I find my meditation was that I was feeling there is something lacking. My soul was looking for something. I was not satisfied. And I felt I'm feeding my soul with meditation. Of course, the debate is if you believe you have a soul, which I think... You, People should be very ignorant to say people have no soul. I think we agree all that we have a soul. But then, how do we feed the soul? I don't believe going to church or giving money to charity, you feed your soul. You know how you feed your soul? You meditate. You let that divine energy enter to your heart. Then you're feeding your soul. Do you uh, teach this, finding your soul, to other people as well then? To honestly, teaching is a very strong word. I will not name my name a teacher. I have one teacher. I believe there is only one teacher. I am somebody who has been allowed to convey the work. So what are you going to tell the people that come here tomorrow then? I will tell them, guys, you see I'm DJing there and I'm jumping up and down. 
I'm playing 14 hours and I can play 48 hours. I can go and come on and play because I'm connected to that source. Realize that this world is the transit. You come to this world, you experience life, okay? Realize, make use of this life, try to connect to your inner self because there is nothing outside. Everything is in you, okay? Don't look for hell and heaven. All is here. Don't think one day you go, there is somebody up there punishing you. No, you are punishing yourself. Try to do something about your life now. Doing something about your life doesn't necessarily mean going doing a charity work. Doing something about your life means instead, I love myself, I want to do something about myself. I love the music, I go and dance, but I never forget to connect to myself. That's why I say meditation, it's an essence. But what I try to explain to people, don't get cut off of media. People sitting like that, mm, this is not necessarily meditation. That is the marketing around meditation. Or when you talk about yoga, the person sitting like that, put his legs behind his head. That's beautiful, but this is not spiritual. That's a very good way of relaxing the body, but not the soul. What I'm trying to convey to the young generation to say, you, know, you don't need to be a priest. You can still have fun, but be conscious that you're not alone. We are all one family. You see, Estonia, Lithuania, Latvia, Baltic, then the other side, Finland, then a little bit the other side, Russian. All this division, we are made. Imagine, let's dream. There's nothing wrong to dream. Let's dream that we are one world and one family. What is wrong with that? And let's party all of us with one goal. And what is the goal? Just get united, like a unit. How often do you look down from the stand or, or the DJ uh, behind the computer and just see that people don't understand what you're doing? I never work with computers, first of all. I always, when I play and I communicate, that's why I love small venues, because I can communicate, not necessarily one, I can see things, I can work toward them, I can see their condition as such, what they are. But for me, the most important thing is it's a relationship. I feel as a DJ, when I come and play, I'm not the guy with the big ego standing up there. I have, it's a relationship. I'm creating that relationship. But my ultimate goal up there is to make one level of energy, one all as one family. Not with you one separate, then with the other one separate. I try to make that energy level work with everybody at the same time. And what you see from the crowd reaction, do you incorporate that immediately into the music? I try because to be flexible, but sometimes it's true that I also get a very negativity because you have people coming drunk, show me fingers, or even swearing. Change the music is rubbish. But you know, this is when the ego comes. If you're really sincere about what you do, you do your job properly, but you should be flexible as well. The same thing I'm playing in Tallinn, maybe I will not play in Spain. The same thing I'm playing in Spain, I might not play in Dubai but I will not come out of my elements. You understand? means I have my elements. I can be flexible in that element, but this is who am I. If you come off the stage, say after you've done 14 hours or how many hours, do you feel tired or how do you feel? Do you feel the need to experience something more? You know, I tell you something, it's a very good question. Depends only on the people. Sometimes I get so much from them that I can after 14 hours stand there and I feel still not only the adrenaline of the work, still the satisfaction is not there, but sometimes I'm so exhausted and guess what? I feel something was draining me out, not because of the physical work that was standing up there, if for something was sucking my energy out. It happened for me many times. How much has your music changed over the years? You've done it over 10, 10 years. Yeah. I'm playing 17 years now, exactly 17 years. And there was a big evolution in my music. But you see, Evolution, which is the name of my new album, <laughs> which I will, I will have to give you one copy tomorrow for sure, there is an evolution in everything. Because I believe, what I learned from my teacher, that change is in everything. Even maybe God changed. Without change, without the evolution, 
things cannot evolve. In my music, it was a big evolution, but it was not evolution like, where is the wind? Come, let me go there. It was the evolution of my inner understanding of what I want to do. Well, this is your last chance to tell the people. Why should they come and listen to you? Not listen to your experience with you tomorrow, so. I feel because they might find something which they were looking for for a long time, but they were ignoring it. That's the time for come and give it a try. But there is one condition to it. Come with the open heart, no prejudice and no judgment. Just come with open heart. Then ask yourself, did I really find what I wanted or not? And then you will see. Thank you.